Good morning, Sagittarius. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing good. Welcome aboard the Cosmic Chariot. I'm going to be your tarot reader today. My name is Tyler. How are you guys doing? All right, so Sagittarius, this is going to be your love reading. Not all messages will resonate, but take our resonance and leave the rest behind. For that being said, this is going to be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising Sign. If you do find that you are resonating with any of these messages, you are welcome to hit that like button and subscribe because it really does help grow my channel and I really do appreciate it. Um, but, uh, for that being said, let's see what you got for your love reading. All right, so, Sagittarius, let's do one more shuffle. There we go. Nice, nice. Let's divide up the deck. All right, cool, cool, cool. So, Sagittarius, at the bottom of the deck, you have the Ten of Cups. So, that tells me that whatever it is that's going on in your love reading it's going to be very happy or you're just very happy during this time which is awesome that's great you may be feeling a bit lost and feeling like there was a bit of an injustice but other than that things are going to be looking good for you overall because you do have the ten of cups at the bottom of the deck uh, you could be dealing with a virgo libra um or taurus uh, but it, whatever is happening in your life, it was something that you just weren't prepared for. Um, and it came very suddenly. And now you're just like, why did this happen? You know, you need you need clarity ab about the situation. Maybe you're not in a relationship right now and you're, you know, doing fine. Um, you know, you're happy, you're successful. But you just feel like what happened was out of nowhere like there was no red flags no warnings you know it, it just happened you know and you want clarity on that situation all right so you have the judgment in reverse and you also have the sun card so it doesn't look like there's going to be any new start uh towards this person whoever you are dealing with possibly a libra there is heavy air energy coming from this um, all these cards, but, uh, and there's, uh, two fire cards as well as an earth card. Uh, so you could be dealing with a Leo, uh, Sagittarius, um, Libra, or a Virgo or a Taurus, like I said before. Um, but whatever it is, there's not going to be a new start. Um, you weren't, you weren't prepared for what happened. Either you or your partner is feeling like this is an injustice, like there were no red flags, you know, there was no warning signs. They just made a judgment call that they weren't going to do this anymore and they left. That That's kind of what happened. But you do have the King of Pentacles here, which tells me that you are very, nur very nurtured and, you know, wealthy during this time. And that the person that you were dealing with was just a karmic. They weren't someone that was supposed to stay in your life. It was just a person that was meant to teach you a lesson. And you may be feeling a bit foolish about letting this person into your life. Um, whether they are the ones that are feeling like the king of pentacles or you are. Or maybe you're just seeing them as that. And now you're just like, wow, I can't believe I just lost the king of pentacles. Uh, but don't really worry about that. Because this person was a karmic. They were su supposed to leave your life. It was time for them to go. There probably were warning signs. You just weren't aware of them. Seeing how you're feeling a bit lost. Um, maybe your judgment was a bit clouded. And you just couldn't see the warning signs. The red flags that were appearing. So now you're feeling a bit foolish about, you know, about how things ended. And... Um, that you should have seen the signs and maybe now you're reminiscing on the past and you're just like, huh, you know what? That was a sign, you know, like that person, th they put me through so much and they just left me and didn't even tell me why. Like, but usually when that happens, there is either a reason, maybe there's another person or just like, um, Maybe they just weren't feeling the connection anymore and now you feel foolish for putting your all into this relationship, but, you know, there there's a lesson that needs to be learned here. Um, 
and it's going to help you move forward. It may not be right now because maybe you feel like this relationship was very a very happy relationship and that's why you have the Ten of Cups here. And But there was something off about it. It wasn't... you. Maybe you made it look like it was the perfect relationship when really it wasn't that perfect. Um, maybe on like the outside it looks picture perfect like on Facebook or Instagram. Like y'all seemed like you were amazing together that you would never break up. But on the inside you guys were fighting, you were arguing. Um, you know, they're just... There has to be something for this to feel like an injustice because they didn't just walk away and said, I'm not doing this anymore. Um, you, it may look like that that's what happened, but over time, there has to be something that happened to make this person just want to walk away, right? Um, you may want to talk to this person so that you can get your clarity um, about why something ended, why this person walked away from you, and yeah. So let's get one more card, and then we'll get into your angel card. So you do got the Two of Cups, which is interesting because you also have the Lovers in reverse. So I feel like there can be a rekindling of an energy. Maybe that's why this is bring, being brought back up to you. Maybe this person's coming back towards you uh, during this time. And now it's up to you on whether or not you want to take them back. It doesn't look like there's going to be a new start. But because the Two of Cups is in the upright, that tells me that um, it's po it's a possibility. You know, it's not guaranteed, but it's a possibility. If you do want this person... You can have them, but it's not the lovers. You guys won't be in love. It will just be a basic connection between two people. You may want to just be friends with this person or, you know, whatever, you know. But then again, the Three of Cups is the friendship card and the Two of Cups is just a connection. But you could just be friends. You know, it doesn't need to be anything serious or anything like that. Like, I... Again, this person could have been a karmic, and that's why they needed to leave your life. But either way, Sagittarius, let's see what you got for your angel oracle cards. All right, one more shuffle, one more shuffle for Sagittarius. One more shuffle for Sagittarius. There we go. All right, so you got God of the Underworld. Something which no longer serves you is about to end. Yeah, so that's a clarifying that uh, this person no longer needs to be in your life and is no longer teaching you any more lessons. Um, everything that you know from this person, you already know. You, there, This relationship doesn't need to continue forward. You can drop the situation. That's it. Angel of diet and nutrition. Pay attention to what you eat and drink. You intuitively know what is good for you. All right? So pay attention to what you are eating and consuming uh, because something that you may be eating may uh, be hindering your diet or your nutrition. Uh, so be careful during this time. Um, but you know what's right for you and what's wrong for you. Uh, yeah, this may feel like an injustice, like it's all of a sudden, but after you think about it for a little bit, you may understand why so-and-so uh, left or why uh, you need to, you know, help yourself. And this could be, you know, you needing to start eating better, you know, that's why diet and nutrition is here. Maybe you need to fix your diet, maybe you need to fix, you know, some, you know, be more nutritious, you know, just like... <sighs> Not be more nutritious, but like, uh, <laughs> um, just, you know, eat things that are nutritious, like bananas and, you know, pears and apples and stuff like that. Just have a more healthier diet than what you are eating and consuming. Um, because that could be why this person left you. Maybe they're just tired of what they were looking at every day, which, you know, it, 
to each their own, you know, we all have our issues and stuff like that. Um, but maybe because this person left, this is going to really help you work on yourself, really do what's best for you. Yeah, you may be happy in your own body, but if you really want that healthy body, that, you know, that body that you truly desire, then you need to work for it. You, you know, you gotta, you know, put in the effort, you gotta do what's best for you, right? And yeah, so things are going to be ending for you. There's going to be a lot of changes for you. You don't have many change cards here, but you do have at least, you know, two cards here with the Sun card here and uh, the God of the Underworld, uh, seeing how they are both endings and new starts cards, you know, that it represents change and new beginnings in a way. Uh, because when one door closes, another another door is about to open for you and this could be that um, a new relationship is about to open up for you 11 11 just popped up um so be mindful of that all right so sagittarius i hope you guys resonate and enjoyed this reading if you did please like comment and subscribe it really does help grow my channel and i really and i really do appreciate it namaste i'll see you guys next time Peace. And if you'd like to follow me on Instagram and Twitter, the links will be down in the description below. If you want to check out any of my other videos on my channel, you can hit that channel button and it'll take you to another, uh, a whole bunch of videos on my channel. But, uh, or you can hit that pop up video that's on the screen right now and it'll take you to another one of my videos that YouTube recommends for you guys. But other than that, I'll see you guys next time.